Three reasons why gold is cheap. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I really appreciate you watching my channel, liking the video, subscribing. Thank you so much. In fact, I get a lot of questions about, you know, why do you do what you do, Yankee? Uh, you know, what's your strategy? How do you stack? I'm not going to go into that here, but please check out my playlists that will give you some really good background. Some of the videos that I've put out that, that maybe tell you how I, you know, stack the Yankee way or prep the Yankee way, some of my philosophies on stacking. So check out my playlists on my channel. So today, I'm going to give you three reasons why I think gold is cheap right now, okay? And why we could see a 900% increase in its price in the next six years. Now, Maybe you're thinking, Yankee, are you kidding me? I mean, silver, that's where I should be investing. This is the cheap stuff. Gold isn't cheap. Come on, what are you talking about? Well, yeah, as of, of the time I'm videoing this, gold is around 1550 an ounce. That sounds like a lot, I understand. When I bought my Yankee can, it was $1,000 an ounce. I get it, okay? So nominally, yes, it does sound really expensive, uh, maybe you go, you know, quarter ounce uh, gold like this, um, like this maple leaf. I love quarter ounce, 24 karat gold. It's one of my favorite to stack now. But, you know, gold is cheap, okay? At least historically. And I'm going to talk about why I think this is a great way to stack. I'm going to give you three reasons why. Now, as we know recently, Gold spiked up, you know, earlier this month after that uh, drone strike and in, in uh, Iran's lame response, right? There was a lot of uh, saber rattling going on. Gold popped up to a seven-year high until, you know, cooler heads prevailed and both sides stepped back and, you know, gold kind of receded, right? You know, it, it hit 1,600 or broke through 1,600 actually an ounce. It was pretty nice, right? It's always dramatic, right, when gold spikes up like that. But the, these kind of tensions, they usually subside. And, and it's really a risky time to jump in on gold when it happens. All right, I told many people, both uh, in our community through email and, and some people I know personally in real life, to hold up. Okay, wait. Don't just react. All right, nobody wanted a hot war, right? You know, uh, Frankly, I, I think it was kind of kind of a way to deflect attention from impeachment at the time. So, you know, I'm not saying that, that they shouldn't uh, or, or President Trump shouldn't have done what he did. But I'm just saying, you know, they didn't want a hot war. And I told people, I think it will most likely settle down. And so will gold prices. And it did. You know, it's, like I said, back down in the mid-1500s. So... <laughs> Frankly, guys, precious metals, gold or silver, is where you want to be before these tensions happen, right? Don't be like the masses that just rush in and rush out when things like this happen. But, but just maintain a contrarian stacking approach all the time, okay? That, at least that's what I think. <laughs> and, and, and I should probably... To say my standard caveat that I'm not a financial, you know, advisor. I'm not a professional. This is just for fun. I'm giving you my opinion. So take it for what it's worth. All right. <laughs> Do your own due diligence and invest wisely. So, you know, let me just talk a little bit about what I think is coming. So I am personally convinced that we are poised for a historic run with gold. Think about the first two major gold bull markets. The first was in 1971, lasted till 1980. And the second one was 1999, went all the way to 2011. But today, I think gold is in the early stages of a third bull market. And you know, I'm dropping this video a bit early because I wanted to reach out to my European and Asian subscribers. You guys are already seeing gold shoot up in your own 
currencies. You already see the bull market. and You understand what I'm saying. You know, now silver, silver is sometimes out of reach for many of you international stackers out there, at least out of reach at reasonable prices. But gold is, is much more attractive, right? So please, you know, my international friends, tell me what your thoughts are on gold right down there in the comments below. I really want to know because you guys have a, a, a unique um, uh, you know, experience with it, a, a unique perspective on gold and uh, the price in your own uh, currencies. Uh, let's, let's talk about it in terms of U.S. dollars, though, okay? What is driving this new gold bull market? I think there are, are, are three principal drivers, and, and I mentioned the first one, geopolitics, you know, whether it's um, uh, the Korean Peninsula or Taiwan and what they're going through right now, um, the Middle East, uh, Crimea, um, you name it, you know, the South China Sea, even in cyberspace, tensions are only growing, right? And with that, I think is also growing a steady reliance on gold. Gold, guys, right? <laughs> so that's the first reason. The second is good old-fashioned supply and demand, all right? Let, let's talk about supply first, okay? Uh, uh, global mining, global mining output, it, it's been flat for four or five years at least. So while supply might be okay, it's not increasing anytime soon. It takes, a, it takes quite a bit, actually, to ramp up mining output. So we're not going to see a significant pop in output supply for years. What about demand? Oh, it's really low. <laughs> so, so low. I mean, most, most pension funds won't even glance at gold. Okay, they're, they're after their 7% APY to, to meet the demand of their retirees, right? There's, they're way, way too focused on risky assets for gold to even minusculely enter their portfolios, okay? No way. So demand is really, really low. You know, can I just say, this? and this is a <laughs> warning, Yankee rant, but it's a short one, I promise. <laughs> when, when, when this recession hits, and, and I mean, when it hits hard, okay, stock and bond markets completely tank, watch how interested people get with gold. Watch it. See how many YouTube or uh, Google searches appear for precious metals. Just, just, just watch. It's going to be amazing, guys. They're going to flock to this stuff. You know, if you're posting content about silver and gold, just just wait until that happens. They're going to be searching your YouTube channels, all right? So anyways, I, sorry, I'm done. <laughs> Back to supply and demand. All right, demand. So so demand, it's negligible, okay? At, at least here in the United States. Nobody wants it. Now, I, I alluded to it before. Demand is rising elsewhere, and that... I think, has been the driver with the price of gold since 2015. Russia, China, they're buying over 50 tons of this stuff per month to build up the reserves. That's demand, okay? It's coming from outside of the U.S., you know, the third reason, okay, for, for what I think is driving uh, this uh, gold bull market, and it's in its infancy, I know, but it's, it, it's happening. I really believe it. The third reason is Fed policy, okay? Now, uh, now remember, remember this rule of thumb, okay? Uh, the U.S. dollar price of gold is uh, largely the inverse of U.S. dollar strength, okay? So, in other words... A strong U.S. dollar equals a lower U.S. dollar price of gold, okay? And, and a, same thing in the reverse. A weak U.S. dollar equals a higher U.S. dollar price of gold. Fed policy determines 
largely if the dollar is going to be weak or strong, okay? Or at least historically, that's what the Fed's been able to do with their uh, traditional actions and, and actually some of their non-traditional actions, okay? And just like the world, the Fed wants a weak currency. That's what they want. That's what it seems like the whole world wants, the weakening currency. So that's the third factor, Fed policy, and it is huge with our dollar. They're trying to weaken it as much as they can without risking a pop in interest rates. Now, you know, Yankee doesn't have a crystal ball, okay? So I don't know what exactly the Fed is going to do. It is, in fact, admittedly the hardest thing to try to predict what the Fed does or doesn't do. But what they do or don't do is the most powerful thing affecting gold price on a day-to-day basis. So I'm going to give you my opinion. It's just mine. I don't think there is much of a chance at all that the Fed is going to be raising rates anytime soon, okay? Especially in an election year. I mean, come on. It could could tank the economy if they do that. So I think it's much more likely that they're going to cut rates as the U.S. economy faces strong headwinds, all right? Especially when it relates to the rising debt levels that we're experiencing. I mean, debt is growing faster than the economy. I've mentioned that before. Uh, You know, debt is what fuels this uh, fake economy. It's completely out of control. I mean, it's at the highest levels since World War II. And the growth in the U.S. economy, the the real U.S. economy, okay, the the real manufacturing, savings, investment-based economy has been hammered. Okay, even the CBO, the the Congressional Budget Office, is convinced that the debt to GDP ratio is going to keep going up. And I am, too. I'm convinced of that. There is no way they're going to get out of this predicament except inflation, which, by the way, is incredibly bullish for gold. Okay, And that actually brings me to why I think we could see a 900% increase in the price of this yellow metal, all right? It may take a few years, but I really think we're going to see it. If we simply average the performance of the past two bull markets and extend the new bull market on that basis, we would be able to expect to see prices break $14,000 an ounce by 2026. $14,000. $14,000. That's what this bull market could actually be. So what do I think you should do? Personally, I think you should do what the billionaire hedge fund managers on Wall Street do. Personally, they go for gold. I think you should do what the central banks all around the world are doing. Stack gold, okay? Protect your wealth. I mean, yeah, this, is, this isn't going to make you rich quick, all right? If you have other investments that yield the cash flow, that's good. Do that. But protect your wealth with gold, all right? Hedge your money. This is real money, guys. Gold is cheap right now by historical standards, but it won't stay that way long. When we go through our next recession, the dollar tanks, This is going to be much more expensive. Right now, I also stack silver. If you want to learn more about how and why I stack silver, check out some of these videos that will be popping up. But thank you again for so much for watching my channel. And I hope your day is a okay.